Hello folks, today we have a BMW, this is a 6 Series GT32, so the Gran Turismo. And uh, it has a common issue that all most of the BMWs have, and it's the emergency call system not available. So you won't be able to see the miles the car has done, and basically it's pretty annoying. The car still can drive, drives normally, no other problem, but just a notification. And you also find a notification in the R drive right up here, emergency system, not available. So the problem with that is it's the battery in the telematics unit. So the car has a main battery, but when the car has an accident, uh, that battery cuts off with the pyro fuse to prevent any further damage, fire and so on. And has additional unit that basically calls for help which is actually dealing with this SOS button. So if you have an accident, the car will call for hell automatically. And the unit itself has this small battery. That's the part number right up here. Uh, the battery costs about 60 pounds at the dealer. You can buy them on the eBay as well for about 65, 70 quid. And this is how the battery looks like, very simply. It's actually, I'm always questioning, the car is only three, three and a half years old and the battery is already dead. So I'll try to recharge it while I was driving. I'll try to recharge it with a, with a car charger. It works for a while, but it dies. So just to get rid of that annoying message, this is the best deal to get rid of it. So I'm just gonna show you where it is located and how to change that battery. So the telematics unit is located in this section up here in the back. So I have to take a few of the trims and basically lower the headliner and basically reach out to the unit, open it up, get the, open the battery and just swap it around. Should be a fairly easy process. So a few things that we need to get rid of around here for the trims. Let's get started. One of the first things you have to do, you have to remove this cover, bare back, and then you need, you need to find a screw, remove this cover, remove the handle and also the light up here. And once you have that loose, you can literally pull it down a bit so you have access to that unit. With the airbag cover, you see a Torx screw that you need to remove. Then once you have the Torx out, you just apply a bit of a pressure and this whole thing comes out like that. Yeah. So this whole section can actually stay in a car. All you need to do is pull up the seal and then reach out with the tool like this one over and unclip the clips from the back so you have the enough space and you can do this movement and then you literally pull out the entire part out so this is the side section part this literally look at it here and this is how it looks like so one two three and these three sections you're just gonna basically do this movement slide them out and then you have enough gap to do this movement which you repeat on the other side and then you will be able to reach in this section for the telematics unit move the the handle first you need to take this cover basically the best way to do it is reach with uh, some sort of tool as this into the tiny hole and basically just take it out on the other side if you've done that you need to put a, a tiny screwdriver kind of lift this section up and there is a same on the other side sorry guys i'm trying to do this everything with one hand while holding a phone and then you do another another side on the top basically two two screwdrivers and pull together and it will come out just like that Sorry, I have to have to free my hand. So two screwdrivers like this, and it comes up. You can see it's loose. Repeat on the other side, and then you have it. There it is, two screwdrivers. And basically, you lifting the piece of metal that is basically acting as a small spring. And once you push two screwdrivers in, you can easily pull in. So I highly recommend also to loosen the B pillar cover. It's very simple. It basically just holds on these two. So once you 
there we go, better view. So once you put a, a piece of plastic that you can just do from one side, unclip from another side, it will come up like this, because then the whole section is coming down and you don't creating a breaking point in this section that you can break the headliner. So in the roof section, doesn't matter if the roof is open or closed actually, uh, there are some clips. If you can see them up here. This one, I don't know. Anyway, there, there are clips you just need to basically pull this section down so the entire roof liner is quite loose. And then you basically good to go to reach out the unit. Now this section is clear. Same on the other side, it's clear. And the whole roof liner is kind of just balancing out up here. So you can reach out to the unit. And voila, here it is. And in this section where you can find a battery. So, so here's the battery compartment. You're just gonna reach out. There you go. The battery is very loose. Just take it out. There's your old battery. So this one was made 2018. As you can see, it didn't last for long. There's a new one. 21. So hopefully the new one will do the job. And then just to reverse order, place the battery back. This. Let's put it in. Close the cover. That's it. Put all the Make sure it's not clicks. Yeah, until the click nice. And that's it. You're just gonna put the trims back on. Just clip the middle section, put everything back in order, uh, clear the errors in the iDrive, and that's it. Job done. So once the battery is installed and the error is cleared from the memory, you can see no longer you have that problem. Also in the notifications, uh, if you go in. You don't see any errors all good so just replacing the battery for 60 quid uh, i've done it uh, for about 40 minutes so I'm not sure how much it will possibly cost at the dealership so something fairly easy to do you can do on your own back home so good luck